Dollar Games plunges 72% in 24 hours, and we've seen that money starting to flow into other areas of the GameFi arena. I think this is one of the biggest opportunities in GameFi right now, and in this video I'm going to talk about three tokens that I've got my eye on right now, and the very real reason that I think they're going to see explosive gains in the next bull market. And also, if you hang around to the end of this video, I'm going to be doing a $200 giveaway for hitting 40,000 subscribers, which I anticipate happening in the next few days. So hit the like button, and let's get into the video. Now guys, obviously, if you've been in crypto, you'll understand Gala Games co-founders sue each other, alleging corporate waste, $130 million fare. It's not pretty, it's not good, and we've seen a lot of money flowing out of Gala Games. But this was Gala Games during the last bull market. And I've been looking into some news and thinking about this, really. If you look at this chart, this is a classic like pump, bull market, bear market, end of the bear market you get that like black swan event scare moment gala's just had it okay gala's just having its own one of these in my opinion if i was to be a betting man which i am because i'm in crypto and i make videos about crypto i would be buying gala right now and then you're like and everyone who's like oh they're so stupid why would you do that well it's, cause it's really really low down and there's some bad news about it but effectively what it does as a platform it's still operating as it was still have the ability to do this again in my opinion and look where the price is if you were to go from here to all-time highs if there's you know nearly 50x back to all-time highs for the top gaming game fight token anyway this is not about gala what we've seen though in that time is games for a living spiking nearly 78 percent so in the time that gala a very similar company to games for a living has been piled into games for a living it's going up it's very exciting okay so it shows that there's money flowing out of gala right now and it's going into these projects in my opinion now i also want to talk about before we get into games for a living in depth alex becker big crypto youtuber just youtuber guy business guy who says crypto gaming will be the best life-changing returns in the next few years and why does he believe this well he believes it has abilities to decouple from the wider crypto market what does that mean or well, decouple means not go in tow with everything else. You'll notice the Bitcoin goes up and everything goes up with it. If Bitcoin goes down, everything goes down with it. GameFi has the ability to decouple from that. Why? Because while it relies on, you know, investment from kind of outsiders who don't play games and stuff, a lot of it has the ability to boom without all of that investment because GameFi is a really good thing, an exciting thing, and it's growing enormously fast whereas all the other stuff is kind of like waiting for all of these different regulations and bits and pieces to happen game fight can happen without all of that stuff this is very exciting because i think it makes it a good hedge against all your other crypto bets because it's gonna do well if crypto does well and it can potentially do well even if you know we see a bear market and whatever recession and whatever if we see a recession and stuff potentially it does even better because everyone's lost their jobs and now playing games sorry a bit negative anyway stay positive guys this is a very exciting time for games for a living i've talked about games for a living on the channel before i like the project because it's a much smaller market cap than gala although it has suddenly caught up a little bit with gala over the last few days but if you come down through then things are looking very very good because it's got multiple different games what i liked about gala was the fact that it was developing a number of different games now the problem with developing one game is either you have a blockbuster hit like axie infinity or you have you know a shit game that no one wants to play whereas if you have a lot of different games it attracts lots of different people of different ages uh different kind of interests all that stuff right that's very cool because it can attract a wider, bigger community of people. And it's very early on for Games for a Living. Now, I often talk about this when investing in projects. That it's very important that it has some kind of je ne sais quoi about, you know, what's going to pump the price. What is it for that? Well, for Games for a Living, it's actually pretty similar to what Gala is. It's not that complicated to understand why people can earn tokens and sell tokens and buy stuff for their games. People have been doing it. People who don't even care about crypto have been doing this for ages. Think about like Clash of the Clans and stuff like that. That's important because it means it gets people excited about it because they can look at the website. Pretty colors. You know, I can sort of understand how it works without having to understand all this stuff about like director slick graphs and this blockchain and that blockchain and these like transactions per second and blah, blah, blah. Complex stuff. Simple 
gets the heart racing, gets people excited. Okay. That's why Games for a Living is doing well right now. Obviously, guys, you know, I'm not saying that everyone who's watching this will think, you know, that simply, but hopefully it makes sense. Games for a Living looks good for me. Also, guys, GameFi in general just drags, I think, you know, 99% of GameFi products right now, because of where we are in the market, will do really well at some point in the next kind of year to two years, depending on when the kind of blow off top ball markets and stuff arrive. And they're all so cheap right now. Games for a Living, however, having a bit of a pullback, you can see rejected from the top of here. I want to show you an H bar chart because it looked very similar a couple of weeks ago. Uh, when everyone suddenly decided that they wanted to talk about HBAR when it was up here. Those guys who FOMO'd into HBAR currently down 35%. So, you know, very similar. Rising wedge breaks towards the upside. Don't buy those coins where they do that. Look at it. Similar. Are we going to see a 35% pullback? Uh, in fact, 35% pullback would see us still in this area. So be cautious of a bigger pullback. Be very cautious, guys. I think we'll see a bit of a pullback. I would be looking to buy around 1.5 cents, maybe, maybe 1.7 if I was feeling extra frivolous that day. All right, next one. Veracity is obviously a very popular token right now, and it's popular for a very good reason. It does a number of things within the kind of GameFi space, mainly because of the Vera Esports. Esports, whilst something that, you know, as a sportsman, I kind of can't really get along with, I do understand that it's a massive thing, particularly right now in Asia. We're seeing huge developments in like Vietnam, Indonesia, China, etc. within esports. This is a very exciting thing because Veracity has a very big part to play in all of this. The esports economy will continue to boom. And you can see like some of the prize giveaways, like $158,000. Video views, 10.9 million. There's a massive amount of people in esports right now. That's a very good use case. Come across. Veracity also works on proof of views, okay? As someone who makes YouTube videos and has in the past run different kind of online businesses, it's very important that the people who are viewing your ads are real people who might potentially buy something. Because lots of other people will send bots, etc., to other people's ads in order to crush their advertising. Because if you're paying on the amount of people who are clicking on your ad, and all of your ad spend is spent on bots from competitors, you will start to see a massive problem. Advertising fraud and see, could skyrocket to $100 billion by 2025. But Veracity is basically solving that problem. So, yeah, this is kind of straying away from the game five bit right now, fine. But, you know, this is a very exciting because it's showing a number of different things that it does that no one else out there is doing. That's it's kind of like it's je ne sais quoi. Don't know why I'm speaking French today. But that's its kind of USP. Very exciting, okay? Veracity is capturing the imagination of lots of people. Lots of people are getting on board with it. Sitting down here with a market cap of 42 mil. Circulating supply is pretty poor, okay? Low down. That's something that puts people off. But because of this market cap, it wouldn't be too hard for this to kind of double in value very quickly, which just completely eliminates that circulating supply drama anyway. Still pretty good value in my opinion. Currently sat in a nice buy zone on the weekly. Uh, look, every time we kind of get moves for Veracity, it pumps really, really hard very, very quickly. That's 400%, okay? So don't get too bought in. Uh, and in the last bull market, <clears throat> it had a kind of a double leg one here where it did like 137,000%, no biggie. Uh, followed by the next kind of rally where it did like 900%, not quite such a good one. But now we're kind of approaching levels uh, below this kind of dip there. You know, we're looking good, guys. Veracity, I think we could have a good one. We can see been through kind of bear market it's had a nice pump now sort of doing its next leg of the bear market you know at some point it's going to do this and look this move comes out of literally nowhere this is why i want to put you onto these coins and that you know obviously do your own research and understand them but these are pretty good guys pretty exciting stuff now the next one that's definitely capturing attention and you know it's so obvious right now we've seen gala falling towards the downside we've seen games for a living We've seen Render Token, Veracity, all having really strong weeks. It's because people who are liking GameFi and gaming are trying to invest their money in this kind of area because they understand the hype and where it's going. Render Token, what is it? Distributed GPU rendering on the blockchain. Now, this might be complicated. Rendering uh, is basically like coloring in, okay? Now, if you're playing a video game um, or you know what a video game looks like, you will understand that you have an, a point of view, right? You can see something in that video game. When your player turns around, there's like 
stuff that has to be kind of created as it goes around, okay? I hope that makes sense because you've got to create the real world. And the rendering kind of demand on new video games of these like super high level, like Call of Duty and whatever, is insanely large and it's very, very draining. And this means that you need to have enormous computer power and things like that in order to be able to keep up with the rendering demands because video games are basically limited on their ability to render. If you played old video games back in like PlayStation 2 days, you might have turned around sometimes and the view wasn't there yet. It kind of like slowly pieced together as you kind of got there because your computer program couldn't keep up with it. So this is very important. Rendering of the metaverse. This is extremely important because the metaverse is going to potentially in the future look like almost like real life through a screen. And it's going to have to have enormous rendering power because of all the millions of people who are going to be using it. And this <clears throat> and render basically handles all of this on the blockchain. So it's enormously important for gaming and game five. Better use of GPU power, basically better for the environment as well. Uh, efficient infrastructure, digital rights management, a better use and uh, network scalability. This is essential to metaverse development, to gaming GameFi development, think of those new Apple headsets that are going to be using all of these different things. You're going to have to have things like Render coming in and helping that. We've seen Render now starting to become quite a popular token. People talking about it, people can understand what it does. There's few competitors in this space within this kind of niche of a niche. The niche, the bigger niche being GameFi and whatever can do well. And this is very exciting. Games for a living, veracity render token seem to be doing quite well right now as we look across to coin market cap where is render currently sat here with like a half a billion dollar market cap not so small okay it's not going to be perhaps able to boom quite as aggressively as other coins out there because it's already pretty big but i'm excited to see where it's going to go from here if we look at the chart right now uh would we identify a buy zone here well you know it's probably not an amazing one because we have uh, seen a bit of a pullback in the price, but you can see <clears throat> what we've seen guys here was big buys coming out of here In fact, not only there we saw one here uh, Bigger buys here. So in this green box, which is around 1.3 uh, Just above that currently, you know 10% up It looks pretty solid. Okay back to that recent swing high You've got like a hundred percent gains I'm pretty happy to look at this and say that personally I might be looking to get involved in this. So guys, while Scala is perhaps having a bit of a downfall, it could be worth a cheeky flutter, okay? Obviously go and do your own research into it. It's pretty solid. What it did before, it still can do. Will, does it affect its ability to make money because there's a little feud going on? Yeah, the feud going on is not great necessarily for the short-term investors, but like everything, guys, remember when you throw that stone into the pond, those ripples come and eventually it will return to its rightful place. I think Gala is worth significantly more than it's currently priced at. That's all I have to say on the subject. Now guys, before I tell you how you can potentially win yourself a juicy $200 of whatever token you want, let's just take a look at Great Guys. As I've mentioned before, obviously they are sponsoring the channel right now. And I wanted to bring the segment because they are basically focusing towards being a provider for Metaverse and GameFi. And this is pretty much in line uh, with what's going on here. Web3 infrastructure, basically using AI to bridge the gap between Web 2 and Web 3, okay? Can handle up to 700,000 transactions per second and uses a similar tech to what's being used on IOTA, uh, Casper, HBAR, etc. But what I'm extremely excited about right now, bearing in mind you can pick this up for $46 per token in the link down below and you'll get 10% additional tokens if you use that link. And it's on a Bitmart exchange right now for around $200. Great 3 Foundation has just partnered with e-government service provider for a pilot project to power their software using Viners and decentralized infrastructure. This is very, very exciting because of its move towards kind of banking and finance. Initially, they've been looking into the metaverse and GameFi space, and now they're moving towards this. It's really, really exciting stuff. And this is kind of the narrative right now that's been driven forward in the likes of Ripple, Quant, uh, HBAR, etc. All these kind of like governing councils and the attachment to them all. This is something that's very exciting and it hasn't even launched yet. Due to launch in like the next month or so, and you can see all the comparisons in this document between Vine, which is the DAG that basically runs Grape and XRP here. You can see all the things that it can achieve. You can see as well comparisons between Cardano. I'll leave a link for this down below, guys. And you go and go and check out this document as well. Make sure you use that link if you want to pick up some Grape down in the description. Obviously, do your own research. Trading is risky, but you can get 10% additional tokens that way. Now, as promised, guys, the House of Crypto is about to reach 40,000 subscribers, perhaps in the next few days. 
And if you would like to win 200 bucks in your favorite crypto, it could be whatever you want, HBAR, XLM, Gala, you name it. Then guys, all you need to do is hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave down below whatever coin name that you want to receive as your prize. And I'll announce the winner as soon as we hit 40,000 subscribers. I also recommend checking out this video right now, guys. One of my viewers has made over $7,000 in the last few months just by using that process. So make sure you check that out now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.